Moving on to Stephen's question. He says, is it fair to count employers' pension contribution, which is 20%, when calculating 25% savings rate that you talk about if we make under 200 k All right. Is it fair to count the employer's pension contribution, which he said was 20%? That's what he wrote in parentheses. Stephen, if you have a clarification, I'll watch for it in the chat, of course. It works for the yes. government. It works. But mm -hmm. so here's, so, so I'm just, I'm, I want to follow the line of thinking and then I want, to, I want you to answer the question, Brian. If the if my company or or the entity uh, to who, with which I for whom I which I work, if the entity that I work for, I don't know that came out weird, is putting twenty percent in, that means all I got to save is five percent and twenty five percent. Is that that's like where the rationale is the line of thinking going, right? I, and so I guess mathematically, yeah, you can arrive at that place. Okay, great. There's twenty five percent of what I make going towards that, but it seems to me there's just like a lot of you're you're putting a lot of um, faith and a lot of weight in a future promise that is yet to come to fruition. Now, odds are, if it's government, and odds are it's going to be there. But what I would say is, hey, if they're putting in 20% and you're thinking, I'm going to put in five, well, what would happen if you start saving 20, 25% on your own? What additional doors would that open? What additional flexibility would you have earlier on in life if you knew you had this fat pension sitting out there, but then you also had all of these assets built up? How might your 40s, 50s, 60s look different if you're able to just double team it from both sides of the equation? So pension is 60% of the income. Um, and the he's uh, or it might be his wife, but this is a teacher uh -huh. pension. Okay. Got uh -huh. it. Teacher mm -hmm. pension. Got it. So so I have a few thoughts on this, and this is where I love it because you, normally I listen to nonfiction, but I've been going through this phase where I listen to Jack Reacher books. And I love it because um, Jack Reacher is like Encyclopedia Brown, but he kicks butt too because, you know, he, he has this deductive reasoning where he always can figure stuff out. But then if things don't go right, he just goes and smashes some heads to figure out stuff. So it's, it's a cool series. Um, so this feels a little bit like it because I feel like Jack Reacher without the brawn that um, I see a red flag here. And I want to be honest with Stephen is that, look, I think it's great for you and your family that they're doing 20%. But um, because you only have to put in 5%, especially because your household's under um, the 200000 But there's a red flag here. If the government, because I've been involved in government, so I know this red flag. It's this experience. If they're having to put 20% in, that means they have an unfunded, they have a really underfunded pension plan. Um, because I've been part of one of those plans where in a lot of municipal governments, a lot of teacher funds and other things have really realized that some of the assumptions they made back in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, they might have been a little rosy mm -hmm. on what they were putting. So now they're kind of desperate to shore these things up. So they've had to create these crazy funding formulas where they're putting 14%, 20% like <laughs> you're showing. That is great for you in this moment in time. However, it could be that they are also a sign it, of it's, it's scary, a sign the that, that, that this thing is not on stable financial ground that they have to fund it at such a level so i would just encourage you it's great for you now but it's also one of those things where it could go away tomorrow and i would hate for you be in the situation where your consumption of your lifestyle is built on that you get to spend after taxes 95 percent of whatever comes in and then all of a sudden the government the, the music stops you try to find the chair and the, you, you can't you. do it because you've already accounted for every dollar in your budget going towards consumption and housing and everything else. Just be careful because um, because that, that could be a, a, a thing to plan for. So I'd probably go a, a more balanced, moderate approach. You don't have to save 25% yourself if your employer's putting in 20%, but maybe you and your, your spouse should work to try to be saving you know, 15% of yeah, your gross sure. income. That's great. Um, just so, because that's going to give you more margin, so you have more options in the future, um, but it gives you a lot more freedom, and, and good on you that you're getting that extra money, but I do want you to be careful. What does this mean that they're putting 20% in? That means that there is, there is this is a symptom of something going on <laughs> that they're trying to catch up and fix. Yep.